For more videos on people's struggles, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. On February 25th, Filipinos across the country commemorated the 36th anniversary of the People Power Revolution that toppled the dictatorship of Ferdinand Marcos. Widespread human rights violations and political repression were common under his 14-year-long dictatorship. Rights groups have documented at least over 3,000 extrajudicial killings and 77 forced disappearances of activists and opposition groups, along with more than 35,000 instances of torture and over 70,000 political imprisonments. Now his son Ferdinand Bong Bong Marcos Jr. is seeking the presidency to reclaim their power. Marcos Jr. is running for president in alliance with Sara Duterte Carpio, daughter of current President Rodrigo Duterte, in the upcoming national elections in May. Human rights groups in the country have warned that this alliance represents the unity of the most rotten, undemocratic and anti-people forces in the country. They have warned that the victory of the duo will result in a continuity of the current Duterte-era policies of impunity, extrajudicial killings, illegal arrests, red tagging and attacks on people's rights. Human rights defenders are urging Filipinos to resist any candidate that will potentially bring back in any form the dictatorship years. Some in the country say that Marcos Jr. does not have anything to do with the atrocities committed during his father's rule as he was young back then. But senatorial aspirant and former congressman Neri Colmenares reminded that Junior was 23 years old and he was serving as the vice governor of Ilicos Norte, then governor. He was part of the martial law government that committed plunder, human rights violations and corruption. Rights groups feel that if Marcos Jr. becomes president, he will abolish the PCGG or Presidential Commission on Good Government. The PCGG was established to recover the ill-gotten wealth of the Marcoses. As of September 2021, the Commission had recovered 174 billion pesos from the Marcoses, but 125 billion more pesos is yet to be retrieved. Human rights groups and advocates gathered at the People Power Monument in Quezon City and conducted a grand teaching to remember the rampant human rights violations during the Marcos dictatorship, as well as Marcos's crimes against the Filipino people. Progressive group Bayan stated that even if Marcos Jr. wins these elections, this will not be the last commemoration of the people's uprising. Bayan Secretary General Renato Reyes said, even if there is no longer any official celebration, we won't allow a collective amnesia to happen. The people of the Philippines have not lost hope yet. As renowned playwright and martial law survivor Bonifacio Iligan said, the people's movement has proven time and again that the Marcos cabal is not unconquerable.